Hey, Gold Digger, welcome back to another episode of Hashtag Get Lit, where we crush your business in less than 10 minutes. For this episode, we are going to talk about the five steps to manifesting anything you want in your life. I use this every single day. It's on autopilot now, but I'm going to share you with you exactly what I do to create the life that I want. And I know that this can work for you because I've seen it work for myself and hundreds of students. Stay tuned. I use it with my students, I use it when I'm coaching, and it has always worked out for me. And it's so powerful because it starts to put you in the driver's seat. It makes you realize that you really are in control because a lot of times we get frustrated when things aren't going the way that we want. We keep beating the drum is of the same story over and over and over again. And therefore the thoughts that we think generate the feelings that we have, which create the actions and eventually creates the existence that we see. So what you're seeing today is literally a compilation of all the thoughts that you've had before today. I know it's a hard pill to swallow, especially if things aren't going the way that you want, but as Jack Canfield says, you have to take 100% responsibility, 100%, it's all you. And once you do that, there's this empowerment to it to say, okay, I've got to buckle up here and I got to make it happen if I want to see some changes in my life. So I'm going to share the five steps that have worked for me. I've been using this for almost 20 years. I had my first life coach when I was 20 years old, I'm 40 now, and I started learning about law of attraction and I started learning about uh, you know, thinking very clearly on what you wanted, how to think the thoughts that are going to be aligned with that. So I was really fortunate to learn this at an early age, but I'm very uh, intentional now where I just do it on autopilot, but I, I had to follow these five steps and learn them before it became subconscious. So you can proactively do this today and, to, and eventually you'll just do it automatically, which is really cool. So I've got five for you today. First thing you're going to do is you're going to get really clear on what you want. Okay. A lot of people don't stop to say, well, what do I want? Right. We just kind of go through the motions. We wake up and we do the same thing we did yesterday. Like I said, we're, you know, running late, hitting snooze, just it's reaction, reaction, reaction. We don't really stop to think about what we want. So the first thing you need to do is to stop and get crystal clear and think, what do you want? You know, get a journal, spend some time. You know, if you're, you wanna sit in nature, you wanna sit in a quiet place in your home, it's best if you can be alone and there aren't any distractions, put some music on, you know, get a cup of tea if that's helpful. But I want you to think of all the areas in your life, personally, professionally, what are the important pieces of your life? It could be health, finances, whatever that looks like for you, everyone's different. And I want you to say, what do I want in this area? In a perfect world, if money wasn't an issue, location wasn't an issue, anything could happen, anything's possible, then what would that look like for you? So get really clear and the more detailed, the better. So if you can get you know, in your mind of the home that you would be in, what your bank account would look like, the clearer, the better. Number two, is to gather images, quotes, pictures, things that make up what that is. The subconscious mind responds really well to images. So this is where vision boards come from. I have like a whole vision wall. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of that. Uh, you could do iMovie. I've made vision movies with iMovie. You could also use your cell phone screensaver. Could be, uh, there's a vision board app, Louise Hay House, I think it's called Hay House vision board, maybe you can, you can look it up in the app store, but there's, you can make little collages and why this is helpful is because again, it's telling your subconscious mind really clearly what you want. So words that evoke emotion were uh, images that evoke emotion. It's going to get to you at a deeper level than you just thinking about it. It's really going to connect with your subconscious mind. I also really like the think up app. That's one of my favorite tools to recommend to my students think up you're gonna record yourself in present tense talking about all the things that you want in your life. And when you listen to that over and over and over again, suddenly you'll look up and you'll be living in the home that you've been talking about for however long. I've used it for every area of my life and it absolutely works. Number three, is you're going to visualize yourself in your vision. You're going to visualize yourself in your vision often. This is where we daydream with our eyes wide open. I'm always dreaming. I'm such a daydreamer. I'm a visionary and futuristic. I'm always thinking, oh, what if, what about that? How could I improve? How could I help more? How could I serve? Oh, I should come up with that thing. So visualizing yourself in the vision is where you're thinking about it. And you're, what are the sights, the smells, the sounds, right? How does it make you feel? 
ultimately it's not really about the money. It's not about the house. It's about feeling like you have a home for your family. It's the money is going to make you feel comfort and safe and secure that you can pay your bills. So you really want to connect to the feeling that what would it feel like to have those things in your life and just imagine that they're now. That is really the secret. You get what you think about most of the time. That is the greatest secret. Something of that variation by Earl Nightingale. It's one of the, my favorite all-time quotes. Whatever you're spending the most time on is what you create. So you want to spend the most time on thinking about the things that you want. You want to daydream. You want to think about it and just feel like it's now. And when you kind of do that make-believe, you trick your subconscious mind. You send that message to the universe and the universe has your back as Gabby Bernstein says. It wants to support you in all the things that you want in your life. So review your vision as much as you can. And number five is become the vision. What would you say? What would you wear? Who would you hang out with? Hang out with? What would you do and how would you think? So for myself, um, I'm approaching a million dollars in revenue in my business, potentially breaking a million this year alone. My goal is to do $5 million next year, which is weird to say out loud, but that is my, my goal. And I think to myself, what, what kind of staff am I going to need for that? What kind of programs am I going to create? What kind of students am I going to attract into my programs? What kind of equipment am I going to operate on and what kind of content? you know, this kind of stuff, am I going to put together? What is my schedule going to look like to create that type of income for myself and my, and my team and my business and my family, right? So I'm thinking differently. I'm, I'm not, it's not okay for me to not want to do something. It's not okay for me to have, you know, a thought that doesn't serve me. It's not okay for me to have relationships that bring me down. I have to be really choosy about who I hang out with, the type of coaches I hire. All of those things are aligned and to support me to reach my goal of the vision that I've set for myself. So you want to act now, you know, maybe that means you buy a nice outfit for yourself. And what does it feel like to be in that outfit? You know, I used to take days off of work periodically and I would just spend the day as I would if I was working from home because that was my goal. I wanted to work from home. That's all I wanted. I did not want to go to my job ever again. I hated it. I, there was a bully there. Never saw my kids. Brutal commute. All I wanted to do was work from home and do stuff like this. So what I would do as much as, as often as I could, I would take a day off, you know, once a quarter. And instead of a sick day, I, I would just call it a personal day. I would just wouldn't even tell my boss why. I would just say, I need to take a day off. And I would spend the whole day how I would spend it when uh, I would be working from home. So I would take my kids into school leisurely, right? I wasn't getting up at the crack of dawn. I would create content. I would work out. I would go to the farmer's market or grab stuff in the grocery store. I would make dinner for my family, prep everything, go pick them up, you know, be rested, be energetic for my family. And it was magical. And it, it started telling my subconscious mind, this is what that would be like. You better believe the subconscious mind went to work to make that happen. The universe supported me and I was able to quit my job and walk away much sooner than I thought I was going to by spending those, those playful days of imagination. So you want to start doing that now. Act as if it's already here. Okay, Act as, as, as if it's already here. The more time you act as it is, the quicker it's going to come to you and come into fruition. Okay. And those are the five steps to manifesting anything that you want. So I appreciate you being on today. If you are watching this or listening, tag me in your stories, the gold digger girl of you listening or watching this, and I will shout you out. You also can subscribe, hit that little subscribe button on the screen, and it will show you where you can subscribe so you never miss a new episode of hashtag get lit. So until next time, get lit in your business and set your soul on fire. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.